Hi everyone. It's been a very exciting week with the seven month journey of NASA's Perseverance rover helicopter finally coming to an end with a successful landing on Mars. We have a video clip of the actual Mars landing and several great shots of Mars to share with you today. The landing brought back memories to me when I was at Mission Control in Houston for the Apollo 11 moon landing and the Apollo 13 command module hitting the water upon its return. I still get goosebumps when I think about those moments. Can you see them? Wow. Welcome to Reaching for the Moon, hosted by me, Ed Grace. For those of you that don't know me, I worked on the Apollo program for 10 years and was a member of the Apollo 13 mission operations team that was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. JPL held a press conference on February 22nd, 2021, discussing Perseverance's Mars landing and releasing a landing video and many still shots taken by Perseverance on the Mars surface. First, I'd like to share portions of the landing video with you. JPL had cameras installed, as shown in this image, that captured the actual landing. First, there's a camera looking down from the spacecraft's descent stage, a kind of power, rocket-powered jetpack that helps fly the rover to its landing site. Next, there's a camera on top of the rover looking up at the descent stage and a camera on the bottom of the rover looking down at the Martian surface. Lastly, there's a camera on the top of the rover, protective shield, looking up at the parachute. The audio embedded in the video was added later and are the comments from the JPL mission control room. Previous Mars missions have taken still photographs of the descent to Mars, but no landing has ever been filmed previously. I would now like to share portions of the landing video with you. First, you're going to see the parachute deploy. Next, you'll see the heat shield dispatched and floating away in space. Lastly, as Perseverance gets close to the Mars surface, you're going to see dust on the surface being blown by the Perseverance landing engines. Finally, touchdown and quite a commotion at JPL, Jet Propulsion Laboratories. We are starting to straighten up and fly right maneuver where the spacecraft will jettison the entry balance masses in preparation for parachute deploy and to roll over to give the radar a better look at the ground. Applicate indicate shoot deploy. The navigation has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration in the velocity. Our current velocity is 440 meters per second at an altitude of about 12 kilometers from the surface of Mars. Heat shield set. Perseverance has now slowed to subsonic speeds and the heat shield has been separated. This allows both the radar and the cameras to get their first look at the surface. Current velocity is 145 meters per second and an altitude of about 10 kilom nine and a half kilometers above the surface. We have started our constant velocity accordion, which means we are conducting the sky crane, about to conduct the sky crane maneuver. Sky Cream Maneuver has started, about 20 meters off the surface. We're getting signals from MRO. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. By the way, the four cameras used for the landing were standard commercial cameras, only slightly modified for the Perseverance mission. The inspiration for using cameras for the landing came per, from Perseverance's deputy project manager, Matt Wallace's 11-year-old daughter, who's a gymnast. She convinced her dad to buy her a sports camera, which he did. Soon after receiving the camera, his daughter attached the camera to her chest and did a backflip. 
Her dad was in awe after viewing her flip video, and that became the incentive to install the cameras on Perseverance for the Mars landing. The next image is a panorama of the Mars surface that was created here on Earth by combining six individual images taken by the rover's cameras. The rover snapped the stills using the rover's onboard navigation cameras just two days after landing in Jezreel Crater. Jezreel Crater is an ancient lake on the Red Planet's surface where the Perseverance rover and Ingenuity helicopter will search for signs of ancient microbial, microbial life. Next is an image of where the Perseverance discarded pieces such as the heat shield, the descent, the descent stage, and parachute ended up in relation to where Perseverance rover landed. This is an image of the Mars surface with various types of rocks and regolith identified. The rover will be the first mission to collect and cache Martian rock and rogolith. A future NASA mission not yet identified, probably in cooperation with the European Space Agency, will send a spacecraft to Mars to collect these cache samples from the surface and return them to Earth for an in-depth analysis. The rover has 23 cameras installed on it and will continue to take photos and videos on Mars. The rover is also going to record for the first time ever audio using a microphone on the surface of Mars. The Perseverance rover is slated to be operational for at least two years on the Red Planet. NASA's Curiosity rover, which landed in Mars in 2012, is still operating today, long past its expected date. Well, with today, with that, we're going to end today's video. I hope you enjoyed the Mars images and video as much as I did. If you enjoyed it, give us a like, hit the subscribe and notification buttons to be notified every time Reaching for the Moon posts a new video. Thank you for watching, and remember always, failure is not an option. Bye.